my friends. Excuse the mess here, but it's the next day. I've just removed the painting I did with the purple flower. And I'm going to do another one on this on this uh, long, narrow canvas because I have a lot of paint left over. But I have tinted my white base coat with a little bit of the uh, light violet from Artist Loft rather than another white background because I'm going to, the design is going to be very similar. I'm, I'm thinking of maybe doing three little ones, three little flowers, and then some lines. So that's the plan. Let's see if that happens. This is an eight by 24 inch canvas. I love this size. I use it a lot. I don't think I've ever tried a, a Dutch pour on it though. So, because uh, it's so narrow, I don't, I don't know if it's gonna work or not, but we'll, we'll try it. I wanna welcome and thank all my new subscribers. My last video really, uh, seem to excite some of you. So I uh, thank you for that, for joining me. And I do have over 300 videos you can binge watch and catch up on, because I do all sorts of techniques. I, I get bored just limiting myself to one. I suppose I'd get really good at one technique if that's all I did, but I'm not interested in doing that, so. I'm pretty good at a lot of techniques. Not great at anything. Okay. I think I have pretty good coverage. I can take my gloves off now because the rest is just going to be done with the hair dryer. Am I still in frame? Yes. I'm going to hit it with the torch though because I see a lot of air bubbles. I just mixed this up a little while ago. This base coat has a lot of Artist Loft in it. I used a little bit of, um, what was it, Blick, I think. But it was mostly Artist Loft. So I'm going to get those those cells. There's no way to avoid it unless um, you go really thick with it. And then the paint has a hard time moving around. But I found if I mix it 50-50 uh, with another brand of white, it's better. So, okay. Let's see. I think the Payne's Gray is going to look really pretty on there. So, okay, let's see. I'm thinking one, two, three. Maybe I'll do um, three different color flowers. I mean, they'll all be the same. I mean, they won't be the same. They'll all be different, but the same paints. You know what I mean? <laughs> Look at that. Got a little heart there. Okay, that's kind of the base for one of them. And then I'll go with the deep, uh, the dioxazine purple. And I want to arrange it a little differently. So this will be the one. Two. The three bottom leaves. Petals, rather. And then the two upper ones. And then I will go with the light purple for the third one. So that one's going that way. This one's going that way. This one will go a little less of an angle, perhaps. 
I don't know, they're all going to blow out differently, so. In fact, maybe I might have to just stick my head in here and blow it out with my mouth because they're so tiny. <laughs> I don't know how it would work with a hair dryer. Maybe I'll use a straw and blow it out. Okay, those are kind of the basic shapes. Now I'll take some of the paint gray and uh, add a little dot. Side there, and then and maybe this. For these, and what can I do there? Oh, I know. I use the uh, wonderful Viridian. I loved that combination. The Viridian and Payne's Gray. center. And now a bit of this light pearl something, pistachio I think it was. Gonna drizzle that. Drizzle? Come on. I don't have much of it left. I used quite a bit on my last painting. Come on. I want to reserve enough for some lines with it, so I'm going to set that aside. And now, a little bit of, oh, I just did that. Maybe the dark green. Mm, I really want to save some of this as well. That's it. Now a pop of the uh, Cad Yellow Deep. Oops, that was a lot. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now, do I dare use my hair dryer? Um, I'll try the straw and see what kind of a look I can get. I did wash my hair today, but uh, I didn't do anything with it. Kind of cute. So I gotta blow backwards to get. I don't know. I don't really like that. It's not working for me. I'm going to have to use the hairdryer. And I may end up with just a bunch of color down here that, uh, you know, not three separate little flowers, but I don't, I don't care for that. So here we go.
Oh, oh, that's so pretty. Hmm. I've kind of lost my, my flower look, but uh, it's so pretty. What to do with this? I'm going to blow the whole thing out, I think. I'll leave some white negative space, but I'm not doing flowers. It's not, it's no longer a flower. I'm going to I'm going to uh do some more little puddles and blow them out. I need some blue here, some Payne's gray rather. Okay, forget the flowers. I'm looking here at what I like and what I like to bring up here. I like the Viridian and the Payne's Gray, so I've got some of that going there. I need some of this dark purple. Spots of yellow. I remember to blow that out. I, I like the white showing, and I kind of like this. It's very light and airy looking. I'm going to try to preserve that. Okay. A little weird there, but I don't want to mess with it anymore. It's interesting.
think that would make a, a lovely fabric. Wouldn't that be pretty for a, a blouse or a dress? Well, I think I'll forego the lines. I think I've got plenty going on here. Now this will sell up a little bit, appear like that. Maybe I'll add some curly cues, which is kind of my, my trademark when I do a Dutch pour. I like those odd shapes to change up a little bit. Oh, I like that. This is a weird one. I like the dark darks. I don't want to change the shape here. Oh, I don't know if that's any better. <laughs> I think that could do it. Ooh, it's, <laughs> I'm going to use these colors in all sorts of different techniques because I'm loving them together. There's a lump there. I think I'll leave it. Okay, my friends. Well, not at all what I planned to do, but I'm happy with the result. Let's look closer. I like how I've got some undisturbed areas right, right in there and some solid color. That was the problem area there, but I think it's okay. I really like this section right here where it's so light and airy. And then we get back into some more solid, vivid colors. I think it's quite pretty. Well, my friends, you have to be flexible. <laughs> That's the lesson today. Thank you for watching. Bye now.